And there it is after the first wipe down. It's funny, I think the dirt protected, uh, well actually while covering it too, you can see where the sun and aged sun has yellowed this more, where the part that was covered has not. But it uh, looks a lot better without all that dirt down there. Almost got a gleam to it, I guess. That's just the first wipe down to get most of the crap off. Came out pretty good, of course. Unfortunately, you can see the burn more. You'll never really see that once it's in play. Messed up tire, I think, damaged that. But it uh, looks pretty good. We'll hit and clean this up as much as possible. There's major wear there from uh, the ball. It's hitting there all the time. This whole area is dipped down. Wow. You can really feel it. So we'll probably put some mylar on there. So there you go. straight up there I believe uh, right here come loose I don't know if somebody tried to spot weld it back on there because there are spots on there but it's come loose obviously so that's where that goes on that and this plastic up there is one of the missing plastics there's some optos here on that piece that they're mounted to is permanently attached to the whole assembly but I'll get the optos off the green is on this side, the left, the black is on the right, and I don't have a plug, oh yeah I do, plug number three on that. And I'll take these screws out to get that solenoid out of there. That's what's going on here, and once I get it all across apart, I'll be able to clean it all up. That's the uh, upper VUK on the upper playfield VUK. I think it's towards the back maybe. And that's the setup there with the Opto. Switch number 24. There's diagrams for most of this stuff in the instruction manual. Shows you how to put all this stuff back together. Black on the right there, white on the left for this one. Once again, pretty much all one piece. Just gonna take the Optos off of that and clean it up and eventually throw the metal parts in the tumbler, which is over yonder. The flasher on that one there is number 10. There's another screw on there. That plastic is back there, that funky plastic. An odd cutout for that. And the demolition time computer sign. All them wires, four wires, I guess. Switch uh, looks like seven. And this switch over here, next is eight that goes there. And that's where another, looks like the same kind of switch. Yeah, switch with the switch on the left side. Two hex heads there. This one's got a hex head and a Phillips. Probably replace that with a hex head. And that ramp, that uh, computer, demolition time, computer signs held on by two hex heads. There's a hex head there with a spacer, and a Phillips head on that. So there you go, we'll clean this up, run the metal through the tumbler.